Boris Johnson has insisted that his regional approach to tackling the virus is the best way to limit the rising cases and to avoid what he described as the misery of a full lockdown. Within England, there are different restrictions depending on where people live or work. Most parts of England are in Tier 1, as it's known, where the rule of six still applies and the 10pm hospitality curfew is still in place. People living in areas like Greater Manchester, Leeds, Newcastle, large areas of the Midlands have now been placed in Tier 2 and that means there'll be no household mixing indoors and the rule of six applies outdoors. And the Liverpool city region has been placed in Tier 3, that is the highest level, which means no mixing of households indoors or outdoors and pubs and bars will close unless they provide what is called a substantial meal. But as our political editor Laura Kinsberg reports, Labour has again called for a short, limited lockdown in England, a so-called circuit breaker, to bring the virus under control. The rolling valley around Glastonbury Tor. Around here in Somerset, there have been 44 new cases of coronavirus in the last seven days. Nottingham's Old Market Square. In this bustling part of the world, nearly 3,000 people have fallen ill with the disease over the same time. Why are you ignoring the science, Prime Minister? That difference, why the Prime Minister is resisting bringing in a limited lockdown across England. The opposition, though, is split away after the government's own senior scientists proposed a short, sharp period of closures. On the 21st of September, the government's own scientific advisers, SAGE, gave very clear advice. They said a package of interventions, including a circuit breaker, will be needed to prevent an exponential rise in cases. Why did the Prime Minister reject that advice and abandon the science? He wants to close pubs, he wants to close bars, he wants to close businesses in areas across the country where the incidence is low. And he wants to, that's what he wants to do. What Labour's proposing is not as strict as the lockdown from earlier this year, but Downing Street wants to avoid it. And there's little appetite on the Tory benches too. I know that for someone who's been an opportunist all his life, this is difficult, this is difficult to understand. But having read and considered the sage advice, I have genuinely concluded that a circuit break is in the national interest. The whole point, Mr Speaker, is to seize this moment now to avoid the misery of another national lockdown into which he wants to go uh, headlong by delivering a regional solution. Politicians don't like admitting it, but there can be opportunity in crisis. And there have been conversations in government about bringing in a limited lockdown to close pubs and bars everywhere to slow the disease down. Number 10 is loath to press the button on a limited lockdown for England. Not just because of the harm that could do to the way the country makes its living, but also why treat everywhere the same when the pattern of the disease varies from place to place. But avoiding a limited lockdown is a strong hope, not a guarantee. More parts of the country could soon fall under tighter rules. A limited lockdown is not a never but it's certainly not for now. Well, some of the government's uh, top scientific and medical advisers from the uh, Joint uh, Security Centre met earlier today to discuss whether to recommend placing much of the north of England and the Midlands in the top level of restrictions, Tier 3. So let's go back to Laura now at Westminster uh, and ask about this. Laura, do you detect signs that this Tier 3 status might be extended? I think you it certainly will sooner or later. I would stress tonight that there are no final decisions that have been taken about what's next. But it's clear that at that meeting this afternoon, health experts and the health secretary at a meeting did conclude that large parts of England in the northeast and the northwest should be brought under tougher restrictions sooner rather than later. But there is a separate track to all of this, which is, of course, the attempts of Downing Street to reach political accommodations with local leaders. That process is not something that is concluded yet. Now, we understand that tomorrow morning there will be a key conversation between the mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, and Downing Street, and similar conversations also in leaders in other parts of the Northwest. And while I emphasize that this not is not yet completely clear, there is a strong expectation in Westminster tonight 
that if we speak tomorrow by this time of day that Greater Manchester and Lancashire are both likely to have been moved into Tier 3. That is the toughest category of limits that are being put in place right now. But of course there is still some water to flow under the bridge before that actually happens. We know from local leaders on the ground, particularly Andy Burnham, that there's a reluctance to go for that unless the government comes up with more forms of compensation. But the question is perhaps not whether or not this will be agreed, but whether or not the government is actually willing to impose this. And I think it is evidence that the government is determined for now to stick to its regional approach, but that may mean more nights like this, where it's not quite clear what the map of England will look like by the morning. Laura, many thanks again for the latest there. Laura Koonsberg, our political editor.